Tanzania is that it's far underway the most stable country in East Africa. Um, it's been independent now for what, celebrating its 50th uh, anniversary and in that time it's never seen anything like the kind of ethnic or political violence that uh, its neighbours in Kenya or much worse in the in the Congo area have, have suffered. So as a result, despite these sort of socialist uh, experiments of uh, Nyeri in the 60s and 70s, since the early 90s, the country has basically been on track towards setting up uh, a market uh, economy. Um, and in its way, it's been an investment success story. It's still a very poor country, but it's managed to attract something like around uh, half a billion uh, dollars on average uh, a year over the last decade. Uh, the government is to be credited for having uh, rigorously implemented a reform program to improve the, the business climate and the investment climate there. That said, uh, it's still far from having reached its potential and I think one of the, one of the reasons for that is, is, is as in a lot of these countries is infrastructure. Um, it's now getting on track with that and there are a lot of opportunities to, to work with the government on uh, infrastructure. I think another area that, uh, that t Tanzania can really uh, improve on as well is in developing its tourism industry. Uh, something like about, a, I think it's like a quarter or maybe even a half of the country is set aside for, 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 for parkland. Uh, and perhaps but largely by accident the country has uh, pursued a tourism policy really aimed at sort of high-end tourism. It's never attracted or sought to, to develop uh, tourism like Kenya has, for example, along its um, Indian Ocean coasts. Tanzania's tourism is strictly to do with uh, safaris. Um, it's very limited and it's, it's relatively high-end and there are a lot of opportunities to work with small and medium-sized companies in this sector, uh, particularly thanks to a government initiative called the Private Sector. Uh, initiative which basically aims to bring together large international multinational uh, companies and organizations to work with local companies local small outfits so in the case of tourism for example that could mean anything from you know hotels uh, or organizing safaris the other interesting area that Tanzania has, has really developed is uh, agriculture particularly uh, subsector to do with fresh flowers uh, in the interior of the country. This has helped uh, take pressure off uh, cities like Dar es Salaam and has uh, to some extent provided the impetus for the development of the new capital city uh, in Arusha which is in the centre of the country. And of course uh, Tanzania is a, an investment gateway to the, to the East African uh, region. It's also a leading player in the South African development community. It's also signed a number of agreements through those organisations with the European Union and with the uh, United States, which provides it with preferential uh, terms for uh, its exports. Privatisation. Well, uh, privatisation has, has been slow, admittedly, in Tanzania, but that said, there's probably more opportunities for companies interested in going and setting up, rather than taking advantage of the divestment of l large corporations like the Tanzania Cigarette Company, the Cement company, the brewery, or the airport handling company. For more videos, please visit www.voicesoftanzania.com.